Hello there folks, welcome back to the Chaps Guide. My name is Ash and I'm your host on this journey through men's style, self-development and personal grooming. Now today I want to pass a, a tip along to you which I have found over my many years of being interested in men's style and that is the value of knowing where your local factory stores are and visiting them from time to time because not only can you get some great bargains, some great deals and discounts, but you can get a great deal of knowledge which will enrich your style experience and make your own journey towards chap nirvana and certainly being an intentionally well-dressed man a much easier process. And I'll take for you an example of a visit to a factory which I have made in the last week, just a couple of days ago. So, as you may know, if you watch the channel regularly, I'm a big fan of leather gloves. And I actually source my normal leather gloves uh, from a small artisan glove making factory in Somerset, my county of residence, a place called Southcombe Gloves. And I often pass along the links to that when people ask me about the gloves that I wear quite often in my videos. But having a wider knowledge of the items that I'm interested in led me to become aware of a very iconic glove manufacturer called Dents Gloves. Now, Dents have a history which is practically unrivaled. They've been making leather gloves in the United Kingdom since 1777. That's right, I said 1777. That is, you know, a longer history than many nations on this planet. And to think that this small company has been making gloves uh, near to me through these hundreds, these centuries, hundreds of years. And because I'm interested in leather goods, I, you know, I look at products which are available in the marketplace, most of them outside my price bracket. But then I look to find where are they based? Because if they're anywhere near me, they likely have a factory shop. And if they don't advertise, if they have a factory shop, I often give them a call and ask if they have them. Because many of these real heritage companies, they're not commercialized. They'll have a factory shop, but they don't really, uh, you know, spread the word too much. So I became aware of Dents. Uh, well, I've been aware of them for a long time uh, because their history is remarkable. As I say, created in 1777 by a chap called John Dent, who set up a small little glove making business in a wooden shack in a place called Wood Street in Worcester. Now Worcester is uh, a sort of county town um, somewhat north of where they currently are based, but their heritage began there. And they've been making gloves for the great and the good for these hundreds of years. Uh, today they're based in a glove making factory in Warminster, which is in, uh, in uh, the county of Wiltshire, which is next county over to the one I live in. I don't find myself passing through that way, so I put visit the factory on my list of things to do next time I'm passing through Warminster. And this week I found myself on business driving through Warminster, so I thought I'd take a little diversion to find out more about dense gloves and to experience their factory shop, which they advertise on their website. So like I say, find out where your factory shops are, because it could be a very profitable experience for you. So as I say, <coughs> Dents' history is remarkable, but they've lasted all of these years because of their quality, right? Dents gloves are renowned. They are without doubt some of the best gloves in the world. Um, they produce gloves for the royal family. They currently hold the royal warrant for His Royal Highness, the Prince of Wales, Prince Charles, uh, and in the past they've made gloves for the Queen. In fact, the Queen, uh, Queen Elizabeth II, wore a pair of dent ceremonial gloves for her coronation in 1953. So, you know, we are talking the very highest level. Uh, they're also renowned as the glove maker to Hollywood. So if you've seen a Batman movie, Batman wears dense gloves. Wonder Woman wears dense gloves. Um, if you've seen any of the last three James Bond films and you've spotted Daniel Craig as James Bond wearing leather gloves, those gloves were proudly provided by Dents. So their, their qualification as the glove makers of the greatest people in society and, you know, Hollywood is well established and with good reason. Their gloves 
um, are made to a traditional standard. So whereas many other glove making manufacturers, they have gone down the route of you know, uh, mass uh, production or uh, high volume manufacturing through uh, mechanized machinery. Dents still value the hand and the eye over mechanization. So very much an artisan glove making business. And every single pair of Dents gloves, um, which are made in the UK, so it's important to say that their heritage range are made in their factory in Warminster. I believe they do outsource some other gloves to other factories elsewhere, but their heritage range are hand stitched by human beings uh, from ethically sourced uh, leather in that factory, each pair of gloves has something like 32 individual manufacturing stages. And the average pair of gloves will take eight hours of human effort from beginning to end. Each pair of their gloves has the same level of love and attention lavished upon them. So whether you are uh, uh, you know, an online purchaser through their website, or whether you go into the store and buy them, or you, or you order them for a Hollywood movie, the same level of attention to detail is placed into those gloves. Uh, you know, they're hand stitched, they're hand cut, they're hand finished. This is quality manufacturing. Another point to remember with, uh, you know, a real high quality handmade heritage product like dense gloves is the fact that there's a lot of sustainability involved in that process. It sounds strange when you're buying a luxury item and as you probably gather these items aren't cheap but sustainability is key because you know when you buy something of good quality it tends to last a lot longer. It, it tends to perform better and this is the important thing when it comes to sustainability it's repairable and dents actually offer a glove repair service, right? You go on their website, it tells you there's a, an itemized list of what they can do for your gloves, but you can send your dense gloves back to the factory and they can re-stitch them if they've become, you know, if the stitching has come undone. They can do lots of repairs. Uh, in fact, it makes your glove something which could be a lifetime purchase, which when you think about it, you know, would you rather buy a high quality item, which is fairly expensive, which is gonna look good, which is going to perform well and which you can send back to the factory and be repaired so that you own it for decades or would you rather buy an inexpensive item which doesn't look so good it doesn't perform so well and you're going to have to buy three four five pairs over the course of your life rather than buying that good pair once so there is sustainability in certain elements of the luxury glove world and certainly dents is uh, you know a manufacturer manufacturer who offers that to you so it's all about factory stores and the importance of popping in when you find out where they are so as i say dents factory store was on my list of places to go to when i was passing by didn't necessarily want to buy a pair of gloves, but I wanted to experience what was in there so that I knew for the future, should I be on in that market for an item, a luxury pair of gloves of that quality, I could know where to go. And in fact, I was actually looking for a pair, uh, or a belt rather, a leather dress belt, because I've struggled to find a really good quality belt, uh, and I thought Dents might be the place to go, because I could see on their website, they also sold other items in addition to gloves in the factory store. So I thought I'll pop in and see what they've got. So I found their factory store quite easily. It's attached actually onto the side of the factory. Modern factory, they'd moved from their previous factory premises in the middle of town into a more modern, appropriate premises. So I popped in. Lady behind the counter, an older lady, um, and immediately you could tell that she was somebody who'd been with the company for many, many years. So I engaged her in conversation. I had a chat. I made it very clear that I was somebody who's not just popping in to try and get some, you know, bargain. I'm somebody who's deeply interested in the product and I want to know more. And as a result of that, we had a wonderful chat which lasted uh, a little while. She told me all about the history of Dents, um, how some of the people working in the factory can trace their heritage back to their parents, their grandparents, you know, their siblings. They all find a, a, a sort of a career path 
as a professional artisan glove maker, where these skills are brought to bear making these remarkable gloves. And an important thing she explained to me about the products on sale in the factory store. Some of the items were the Heritage Glove Collection, which are only made in Warminster, in their factory. British made by these artisans in the next room, in effect, making these gloves. However, some of the items, their cheaper models, are outsourced to other factories and they are sold under the Dent's name, but they're not necessarily manufactured to that same level. So it was good to understand that. You can then differentiate between what is exceptional quality and what is just their standard quality. I also found out that the belts they had for sale, which I ended up buying actually, I did buy uh, a, a dress belt from Dents, but the belts were not manufactured within the factory. So they're not, I thought they may be a byproduct of the glove process, you know, where they use perhaps excess leather to make belts, not at all. They were outsourced for sale in the factory. So you can understand that belt only costs 15 pounds. So yeah, it's not gonna be high quality artisan level stuff, but it was great to have that chat. And the, uh, a little sort of side note, because we were having the conversation, I said to her, you know, what's the iconic item? What does everybody want? And she went under the counter and she brought out uh, a box containing the gloves which are perhaps most synonymous for dents globally. And that was their peccary leather gloves. And I had a look at them. I didn't know what peccary leather gloves were. I'm now conscious that they are, you know, a, a sort of well sought after luxury glove product. But peccary leather, uh, I discovered, is made from the hide of a specific hog, a pig in effect, uh, which lives exclusively, I believe, in South America and the southern part of the continent of America. The leather in Dense gloves is sourced from Peru, where the finest quality leather glove, uh, gloves, uh, glove leather is sourced. These particular pigs, they can only be harvested by uh, indigenous hunters. So it's really quite exclusive stuff. You know, it's not a product you can find on the shelf anywhere else. Um, the gloves, which we talked about, these peccary leather, I handled them, they were beautiful. They were remarkable quality. They were soft, supple to feel. Um, apparently, the leather itself is exceptionally hard wearing. And it's not uncommon for a pair of peccary leather gloves to last decades and decades. It can be a lifetime purchase if they're looked after properly. Now, these dense peccary leather gloves are enormously sought after in Japan uh, for some reason where they are the height of glove making uh, and people you know will make great efforts to uh, reduce these high quality dense peccary leather gloves into their ownership and because I was in the factory store she went and got a sheet of peccary leather for me uh, from the manufacturing process she allowed me to handle it and I I was I was taught a lesson in glove making and in peccary leather. And it's something I will never forget. And although I didn't go into that store to buy peccary leather gloves and I didn't buy any right now, it is a place which I know will go to because I definitely aspire to own a pair. Now I've seen this product, I felt it, I've touched it. I can imagine how good they would be. And the reason why people go to factory stores, those peccary leather gloves, were you to buy them online or through a retailer um, on Dent's own website. They retail at around about 400 British pounds. In that factory store, 75 pounds, less than a quarter of the price. And the reason for that? Well, in the factory store, they sell um, imperfect products. So gloves which have been made in the store under the normal process, uh, in the factory rather, but they have not passed through their quality and assurance process. So there was an imperfection, maybe a blemish in the leather, anything of that nature. They get sidelined and then they get sold off in the factory store. They may be an end of line. So they've made a batch of gloves for a retailer who've ordered something specific and they overmade by say 20 or 30 pairs to make sure that everything passed through the Q&A process. And those extra pairs, well, they're no longer needed. They're not in any retail line. So they're gonna be sold off in the factory store for a portion of their original price. So absolutely, and samples as well. So they often make samples if a retailer wants to see uh, you know, what they can make. Um, so they will make a batch of gloves in a certain color or certain leather or a certain style. 
they would present present them as samples and if a you know a order is made those samples that are left over are then sold off in the factory store and um, so again you know they can be quite unique they might not be available because uh, if if an order is not placed from that sample batch they might be the only gloves that look like that in the world so again unique items in there as well as end of line and imperfects and because of that it really draws those prices down to an approachable price so whilst i could never hope to pay 400 pounds for a pair of gloves peccary leather gloves 75 pounds is much more palatable i think you'll agree and it puts it within my price orbit so it allows you, by visiting the factory store, to perhaps get into an item that you would never be able to aspire to in normal life because, you know, it's outside of your price range. So that is the reason why I wholeheartedly recommend to you chaps, become aware of the factory stores which are around you or in the next state or, you know, on your journey somewhere. Because one day when you're driving through that town, if you've got a little list of the factory stores you're interested in visiting, you might think, ah, I'll be passing through Warminster today. I think I'll pop into the Dent Glove factory store and see if there's anything which takes my eye. You may find a product fantastically priced, which suits you down to the ground. And like me, if you engage the, the staffing conversation, you will learn something which will help you on your journey to chap nirvana so there we go why not find out what factory stores are near you and take advantage of the great options they will offer you so i hope you've enjoyed today's video on visiting the factory store if you have i would encourage you to give the video a thumbs up and of course if you like the material we provide here you know the drill click the red button Come on the journey with us as a subscriber and if you'd like to practically support the channel you can buy me a coffee you'll find a link to our buy me a coffee page in the show notes below so until the next time go out now and find out what factory stores are near you put them on your list of places to visit and see if you can learn something and get a bargain at the same time so until the next time take care of yourselves and i will see you again very soon